welcome to my room. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite vinyl records from my collection. Um, I was going to show you <laughs> all of my records, but that would be a very long video. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in alphabetical order. Okay, so to begin, Hearts by America. I have, I think, five or six of their records. Um, I really enjoy their sound. The folkiness of it inspires a lot of my music, and um, it's just good vibes. And also, this record has like Daisy Jane, Old Virginia, Woman Tonight, Sister Golden Hair, like all, all bangers. I love this album a lot. Okay, next we have April Wine, Greatest Hits, because um, April Wine slaps. A lot of Canadian classic rock is criminally underrated and um, yeah April Wine I just really enjoy their sound um, this one has songs like Ooh What A Night Could Have Been A Lady you know Tonight Is A Wonderful Time To Fall In Love good record I enjoy it quite a lot next we have two Beatles records Let It Be and uh, Rubber Soul let It Be came in a box set with the actual book, um, with all the studio session, um, conversations or whatever. Um, this came from my grandparents' basement. <laughs> they just let me have a bunch of their old records. So this came with it, and, um, I, I love this record so much. All the songs are so good. Songs are so good. Very inspirational to my music. And I just love the Beatles. They are what got me into like 60s and 70s culture. Culture. So, yeah, next we have um, Rubber Soul. This is my favorite Beatles album, except you can tell by the logo, it's not bright orange. And I don't know why that is. It also doesn't have um, Drive My Car on it. And I think I read somewhere um, that some, I think in Canada or the States or something, they didn't put Drive My Car on the records. And they only did that for the European ones. So that's kind of cool. Um, regardless, I still love all the songs on here. They mean a lot to me and they all go hard. <laughs> okay. Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John. This record, once, like even before Rocket Man came out, I was on Elton John lockdown. Like he's so good and such an inspiration to me like fashion wise and just like stage presence everything um this record is so good i love every single song on it and just like the amount of thought that went into this record fold is absolutely incredible um it's great fantastic incredible absolutely phenomenal love it and again honky chateau by elton john um I, okay, the songs on this record are all so good, but like, Honky Cat, Susie Drama's Rocket Man, like, all of them, <laughs> Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's, all so good, and even again, with the record sleeve, it kind of like, opens up from the back, and yeah, so good, beautiful design, beautiful record. Ooh, I just realized that this is textured. The front here, this picture is textured. Very nice. Thank you, Elton. Okay, next, Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. Um, if you've ever seen my Instagram page, you know that Stevie Nicks is just like my biggest fashion icon. And even vocally too, she inspires me. <laughs> like I kinda just wanna be Stevie Nicks. Minus the hole in her nose from the cocaine. But anyways, um, yeah, this record, Rumors, so good. Um, you know, like, Dreams, Go Your Own Way, The Chain, Gold Dust Woman. Amazing. This next record is one of my most prized possessions. All Things Must Pass by George Harrison. Um, I'm getting the words All Things Must Pass tattooed in his handwriting on my arm sometime this year or next year. <laughs> But it's happening. Um, but this record means so much to me. It also came from my grandparents' basement. Um, it's kind of like a box. It opens up. It's got all four records. Um, I checked 
the numbers on the that were engraved on the inner circle of the record and it's not an original pressing but um it's it's original but it's not original pressing first pressing but it's so so good george harrison i love him so much i have <laughs> like his poster and like the white album picture right above it um but yeah i i love this album sincerely and it means so much to me next album um hair the musical soundtrack this musical is so good i love it so much um and the music is even better like aquarius black boys white boys you know it's so good um i recommend to anybody who likes 60s and 70s culture watch this it's so good um and it's just it's very fun to watch and it's a it's a good time listening to this next record led zeppelin 3 um a friend of mine recommended this to me um quite a while ago and i've been hooked on led zeppelin ever since this album is so beautiful so good um it's got like immigrant song the tangerine that's the way really really nice guitar tone beautiful album and incredible album art too like this spins it's very nice i once again i really really enjoy when artists pay attention to um the covers of their albums instead of just the physical record itself led zeppelin one <laughs> led zeppelin one um this album holds good memories bad memories many <laughs> memories um uh, it reminds me of um, a, a lot of different times in my life um, where things maybe weren't so good and maybe things were really good. It just, yeah. Led Zeppelin, one, very good. Good times, bad times, days and confused. I freaking love that song. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's a very good album and I definitely would recommend. Okay, next album, this album is pretty special to me the wall by pink floyd i checked the serial numbers in um the middle of the record it is an original pressing from 1979 um it was a first pressing it's got some water damage there um and on the back but um yeah this record is so damn good like the movie too is pretty screwed up but it's the amount of work and creativity and just emotion that went into the creation of this album is so so good i love this album again the same friend recommended this to me he actually let me borrow his copy quite a while ago and i i just had to buy it it's so good um this very album is what got me into pink floyd i'm still obsessed with them i love them so much and i would definitely recommend the wall to anybody who's trying to get into more psychedelic music or prog music it's very good queen a night at the opera ever since bohemian rhapsody came out i i was on queen lockdown for about six months and i was a queen hand queen fan before the movie even came out but i just, there's something about Queen that's so unique and I love it. I love them so much. Um, this album in particular um, holds Bohemian Rhapsody 39, like, Blazing on a Sunday Afternoon, Prophet Song. Um, this is one of those albums where there is not one song that I don't like. Like, it's that good. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> um, I, there's nothing more I can say about it. It's just that the, this one, there's one thing I could say about it. Brian May's guitar tone, excellent. Very good. Love that. Um, yeah, would definitely recommend. More Canadian classic rock, Rush, Moving Pictures. Um, this one is one of the records I have that is not, um, vintage 
Um, it's obviously a repressing, it's newer because it's very clean, smooth. But this album is so good. Like YYZ, Tom Sawyer, Vital Signs. Vital Signs is so good, but Rush is so, so underrated and it makes me upset. But this album is very good and I would definitely recommend. Um, oh my god. Um, yeah. Vital Signs, such a good song, and get, just Getty Lee's bass tone, guitar tone, everything is great. It's great. Love it. Very nice. Okay, and the same friend I keep talking about recently recommended me this album, um, Even in the Quietest Moments by Super Tramp. The second I started listening to it, I fell in love. The instrumentation, the artistry the innovation everything so good so good like baba g um give give a little bit is on here and that's obviously a banger um downstream you know from now on every song on this record is amazing and just their use of piano is so so nice and um yeah i just really really love this record i just picked this up today but very good and I would definitely recommend um after listening to this I will be <laughs> diving a lot deeper into Super Tramp's discography because I thoroughly enjoy that record okay last but not least Van Halen self-titled this record I don't remember when I got it but very good Eddie Van Halen's guitar tone excellent he's a very very talented guitarist and i i, I want to be that when i grow up um it's got like running with the devil and talking about love eruption ice cream man is my favorite song off this album it's so good um it's just a it's a it's a jam it's a jam it's good to jam too it's a very good time listening to it and um yeah good music good music so those are all the records that i have to show today um thank you for watching <laughs> if you stayed this long and if you even care but if you don't thanks anyways um yeah uh i don't think i'll become a full-fledged youtuber because i'm bad at this but i tried so until next time bye